I saw this little brown thing. Lots of cars and trucks screaming past him. We had the risk of him either running into the road and getting hit or running into the rice field and never seeing him again. Jolly! I spoke to the family there and they said they knew the dog, but no one could touch him. He ended up cornering himself. Desensitizing him with the food and the soft sounds and the calm approach. Energy is incredibly important. But then there's the moment where you have to catch them. and that can be quite sudden and scary for them. It's okay. Someone was looking down on him for sure. Welcome to the family. Hi. He was still incredibly nervous. But by the next morning, he was a completely different dog. Look at that tail. Look at the happiness. I honestly didn't think it was the same dog. Yesterday. Good morning, Coaches Boy. <laughs> You're the funniest widow widow we've had. Come inside. Come on. They let them come inside when they're ready to. You can come in this house. You can go. Yes. It could take an hour, it could take several days. There you go, buddy. Yeah, this is a house. That's it, you're in now. That's a good boy. Come on. Once he was in, he was in. Come on, let's go see the others. It's really important to have other animals there to show him that he's okay. Okay, all the kids are in the back. Hey, Willis. Yeah, at the back with the big kids. I will take all of them to a field to have a big run. <laughs> we had him on leash to make sure he wouldn't run away, but eventually I trusted him enough to let him off leash. Why would someone throw you away? He just absolutely loved his freedom. What? He changed from this scared little dog on the side of a busy road to this bouncing puppy. <laughs> Willis then found the most incredible home with Angie and her husband. Are you ready? Are you ready? He's just surrounded by love, which is everything that he's ever wanted. Yeah, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going?